guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of June reading for you all. June 1st through the 15th reading for Libra. How are you all today? I am doing wonderful. I hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. I've already meditated on the cards, you all, before I start the reading. And if it doesn't resonate with you, you might want to try your other signs. And I've got to wait till the cards pop out, so please be patient with me. Sometimes it takes a minute or ten. <laughs> cards I'm using today. These main cards are called the Druid Craft Tarot. The other cards are Energy Oracle and Angel Answers. I've had people ask me about them, so. out more than the others. That one. Well, Mary, try that again. All right, let's see what we got. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Four of Cups. The Moon card. Ten of Pentacles. And the Nine of Swords. Whoops. You're clarifying the Three of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. I hope you guys can see those. Cornucopia. Nice. Contract. Hmm. That's interesting. Big happy changes. And not the right time. I'm going to put it like this because I think... kind of think one goes with one and one goes with the other. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. If any of you guys are um, have been a little financially worried, financially stressed, financially um, burdened, 
I think that's coming to an end. And I think it's coming to an end with a force to be reckoned with, which is exciting for me to say. I, I think with this Five of Pentacles in reverse, that means that if you have had some kind of, oh crap, where's that money going to come from? Or I need extra money for this or, you know, that kind of thing. I don't think that's going to be an issue anymore. Because I have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here, for heaven's sakes, along with the big happy changes, the cornucopia. I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I got to say. These cards make me feel like, and then, you know, I got this Nine of Swords and this Four of Cups, but honestly, they, that's just life. That's just part of life. That's just, like I said before, about maybe you worrying about your finances and stuff, and you're like, oh, crap, now what am I going to do? And you kind of get in this little bit of a feeling sorry for yourself, aggravation, depression a little bit, not major, but just, you know, of course it, it stresses you out when you need money and you don't have it. And then you might not be sleeping good and things like that, or it just... It's on your mind, and you just keep thinking, what can I do, what can I do, what can I do? But you all, if you look at these cards, these, these cards are saying things are changing for you. Things are um, switching. Things are turning up a notch or two or ten. And it gets me excited for you with the Ace and the Ten of Pentacles along with this financial worry being complete. It's, it's done. And then you get the cornucopia, which makes me feel like that this is great things are happening for you guys. Great things are falling into place. And even though with these cards and, and this financial situation that some of you guys might be in, it may not have been the right time for you guys to move forward, for you guys to um, grab that opportunity. But honest to goodness, I think it is time for things to change for you guys. Let's say you guys have some kind of a business idea or a new job offer, a new promotion coming in, a big bonus on your paycheck. This could be anything from a promotion to a, a business opportunity to some kind of financial gain for a lot of you guys. And I am tickled to tell you that. Because both of these cards can mean financial gain. Cornucopia can mean financial gain. Big happy changes can mean financial gain. So all of these cards together really make me feel like you guys are um, getting out of a situation that you may have found yourself in. Whatever that means for you. Because these two cards, we were a little bummed out about things. Because maybe it wasn't the right time, but I think it's about to be the right time. I think this new idea, let me just move these around for a second so you can see what I'm talking about. I think this new idea, this new opportunity, this new invention, this new um, creation possibly, that you're making or that you have been building or that you have uh, planted is actually coming to life. And that gets me so excited for you because I think a lot of you guys have been working on something for a while or you've been um, let me think of the right words. You've either been working on something, you've been um, trying to create something, you've been trying to finish something, you've thrown ideas out there, and now these, these things are finally coming up and they're starting to grow. These things are starting to manifest better things in your life. And I think for a lot of you guys, it's financial gain, it's security, it's happiness, it's wealth, it's health. It's just a lot of good, happy changes coming in. Hold on one second. When I get this contract over here, it can go in different ways. 
are you guys signing a contract in a big company of some sort to get some kind of financial rewards? Are you getting a promotion possibly? Are you signing a contract with a business partner to build and to grow what you've already started? This gets me excited. Now, this contract can be anything from business partnerships to um, owning a new company to getting married to, you know, different things like that. Some kind of a contract. And that could possibly be where this new financial gain is coming in. This new life for a lot of you all. This, you moving forward and not looking back. Smooth sailing. You're tickled about something, taking a new journey in life, looking at things in a different way. It could possibly be with a romantic partner, a business partner. It could be with someone that um, wants to buy something from you. Maybe you've put a patent on something or you have a great idea of some sort and they're ready to buy it from you. They're ready to um, go in partnerships with you. They're ready to be... Uh, involved with money possibly to help you move forward with it I feel like and I have this it just popped in my mind have you guys heard of the show Shark Tank that's kind of how I'm feeling <laughs> I've never thought of that before but that's how I'm feeling almost like you have this great idea and you've maybe thought about Shark Tank or taken it to Shark Tank and, and now it's like one of these things that's going to go poof and just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger Gets me excited. Hold on one second. You know, I do have to say something, though, too. When I get this moon card right here, the moon card is your in intuition and your inner guidance and your spirit guides and your gut and things like that telling you what to do. And sometimes, you know, you, you have this feeling, oh, I shouldn't do that. Or maybe I should go this way home from work or, you know, whatever it is. You think about your family and then you make a phone call and make sure they're okay. You know, silly things like that. Not that they're silly. I shouldn't have said that. But you know what I'm saying. So your intuition is going to be higher. Your gut and your instincts and your inner guide is going to be helping you get through whatever you, you're, get, you're going through with this, these two cards right here. And once you do, everything's going to open up for you. Contracts might be available for you. If you've got a patent on something, you might be selling it or going into some kind of a partnership or having some kind of opportunity with it. But big happy changes, I think, are coming. And I think with these two cards right here, it just wasn't the right time. I think... That the contract situation, you might want to, hold on, let me word this the right way because I don't want to discourage you. For some of you guys, this contract is going to be worth a lot of money. For others, it's going to be worth a lot of money. However, you have to dot your I's and cross your T's, if you know what I'm saying. You've got to be cautious of every word that might be in that contract. You have to be cautious of how they're, they might be trying to deceive you a little bit. And that's where I'm, that moon card's coming in. And this is not going to be for everybody, but I just want to warn you, if you do get in a contract with a business partner or with a loan or something to that extent, be very cautious. Be very cautious because of this moon. Some things are not always as they seem or as they appear to be. Some things sound too good to be true. But sometimes they are. Sometimes they're not. I'm not going to... Because for a lot of you, this is a big opportunity. This is cornucopia. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is big happy changes. But for some reason, there's a small percentage. And I'm just going to say five or ten people out there watching today that this contract might not be as much or as beneficial as it could be or as it will be in the future. 
Does that make sense? I'm going to give you an example just in case it didn't make sense because as I was saying it, I may have lost you. Somebody might offer you $100,000 for your patent and you're, you're so excited you need the money so you'll jump on it. However, if you had waited six months, you may have gotten $500,000 for that patent. Right? That's what I'm trying to say. So just because somebody offers you something, don't jump at it at the, at the very beginning because something else might come up better. This could be a new home. I mean, this could be you selling your home and things like that. I don't think so, you guys. I think more than anything that this is a business or a job or a opportunity or a um, something that you've been growing, some kind of an idea, something that you've been nurturing and getting better and working a lot on is coming to life. And I think that there's going to be more than one person that wants it whatever it is for you. So when I get this not the right time contract might not be the right time for some of you guys. Some of you guys it is. Some of you guys you're going to make a small chunk. I was going to say a small fortune so I'll just say that. A small fortune. But for some of you please be cautious because the time might not be right for you. For that contract that is because you might make double triple quadruple the amount in just a small amount of time or to give somebody else a chance to offer you something else this is fantastic though give me one minute okay excuse me <coughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't go over this um, King of Pentacles. Some of you guys might be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. Could be the person that's willing to take a risk on you, take a chance on you, be a business partner, give you a loan, give you money, give you an opportunity, give you a job. Could be you and your energy and your groundedness and your down to earth and your thinking. Um, practical, which is maybe the right way to think right at this moment. Give me a second. I'll put him here. both of these. Ace and the Ten of Pentacles for heaven's sakes. That's fantastic you guys. I'm just going to put them like that. I could do them reverse but pff, they're both fantastic. So so here's the thing. Here's what I'm getting out of it. Some of you guys might be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They, male or female. They could be somebody that's a romantic partner. They could be somebody giving you an opportunity or buying something from you. Buying your patent. Um, funding your, um, uh, your situation. Whatever it may be. Helping you fund or wanting to be an investor of some sort with your opportunity that you've been growing that's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger and that you've got a great idea and you're you're really starting to go somewhere with this and you're going to be moving forward and being happy but for some reason every once in a while you have this little moment of oh crap what should I do why aren't things happening fast enough for me? Oh crap, you know, and you might not be sleeping good at night and then all of a sudden you f start finding yourself feeling sorry for yourself when all in all, it's all working out. Because with this Five of Pentacles, this is if you are financially strapped or needing money in some way, it's coming to an end. And then I have this Moon card which tells me that your intuition and your inner guidance and your gut will be telling you the right way to go so please go with it but on the flip side of this sometimes if you got to sign something if you have to have a contract with somebody sometimes it's not in your best interest 
sometimes it's in their best interest. So you definitely need to pay attention, read everything, read all the fine print, understand everything, maybe even get an attorney to help you. Because especially if you get a loan or something like that, and then they start adding fees on there for you, or if you want to pay it off early, whatever it is. You, know, you guys know what I'm talking about here. So for a handful of you guys, this contract may not be the right time because there's going to be loopholes, or you're going to get more money in the near future. Okay? Please be cautious. For others... This cornucopia, this contract, this big happy changes, this ace of pentacles, this ten of pentacles, financial gain for a lot of you guys. Whether it be today or in two weeks from now or in three months from now, things are looking up. Financial gain, security, happiness, a big chunk of money may be coming in for some of you guys. Opportunities galore. Possibly with this um, business partner, possibly with this um, loan, with this somebody wanting to buy you out for something, or even go into, um, I guess, like a, a partner, I guess. You know, they would fund it, and you would do it. Because this is fantastic. This cornucopia is fantastic. All it is is... is goodness. I mean, it can be financial gain. It can be uh, the universe helping you guys, guiding you guys, sending you the right people to help you and to give you that opportunity. So for a lot of you, I believe this contract is going to be um, life-changing. I really do. Financially, happily, big happy changes. For a lot of you guys, and honest to goodness, if, if you're the, the small handful of people that is, you're getting an offer and you're not completely satisfied with it, don't take it because you'll get a better offer later on in the very near future, okay? You don't have to take the very first offer. I feel so strong about this reading, you guys. I may be only talking to a small handful of people out there, but man, alive, I just, I'm tickled for you. I am so happy for you that things are just working out. It's unbelievable. And you really have to, to remember that your hard work is paying off. The universe is trying to help you and guide you and give you these this gut instincts and this intuition. So rely on that. Because Big Happy Changes is coming. And for a lot of you guys, it's financial gain. And I'm tickled for you. Honest to goodness, I'm tickled. What a good reading, Libra. <laughs> this is great, you guys. Oh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. This is your first half of June reading, June 1st through the 15th. Please remember, if this does not fall on the... On the and 1st of June for you guys, I do believe it's coming in the very near future, so don't get discouraged, okay? I think it's coming for you, so um, just do what's right for you and go with your gut. All right, you guys, this is your June 1st to the 15th reading for Libra. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.